video, dude. Ah. I got it all on video. How about that? Give me a how, about, how about inside tonight? Inside tonight, I see it. I see it on my freaking camera. Hold on, you push it. I had no idea that fish was that big. Shit. Can I saw him when he was. I just got it all on video. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
go, sir. That's a good one. Big fish. Way out here, I'm like, oh no. Yeah, they told us yesterday in the post meeting that it did, it's bouncing. And it was. You make the call, I went to 13 three times. Three times, yeah. And that's, that's uh, legit. <sighs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
That would get rid of that two pounder. That would get rid of the two pounder for sure, dude. This is actually my going into day three. So um, just because I'm a nummy, I didn't, I forgot to do the vlog on days one and two. I guess I was pretty excited. But anyway, it gives me something to talk about. Day one, that's exactly what I did is I sight fished and I, I fished shallow for them. Um, flipped, I, I found kind of a specific piece of wood, small willow trees is what they are. And then, um, as you'll see, it, it took basically just going real slow to trigger that bite. I think some of those fish were staging in there because I've caught some spree spawners out of it. And I think some of them are spawning in on there because it's a hard object. Uh, either way, I've been able to, to maintain um, a pretty good weight by doing that. Uh, I caught a 713 out of it the first day I caught a 610 off the bed the first day I caught a six something out of it the second day so you know it's not like I get a lot of bites so I'm only getting 10 or 11 bites a day 
I've tried a lot of different stuff, frogs, buzz baits. Again, I'm not going offshore, not going to change my game to this point. So, going into day three, I'm in fifth place. I've got like 46 pounds. I'm about eight pounds out of the lead. I had 25, 15 on the first day, 20 pounds, 12 ounces on the second day. Obviously, the second day fell off. I feel like the, those fish are definitely around me. Now, when I say around me, I think they're deep and there's some deep and shallow and there's a lot, a lot of stuff going on. We've had some bad weather the last couple of days for sight fishing. Um, and I only cut one off the bed yesterday and it was actually one that I lost the first day. If the wind lays up today and the sun comes out, which the sun's supposed to come out, but it's supposed to blow, um, I might be able to run across a few more sight fish. But that's my plan. Stay shallow. Stay after it. Heads down. You know, um, I'm not going to change. I'm not going to go offshore. I'm going to live with what got me here. I'm going to stay with the girl that brought me to the dance. So, uh, and as far as baits goes, there's just a couple of baits that I've been using really. Um, I've been using a finesse worm on a shaky hide to quiver some. And then um, I've been using the D-bomb and a tube. And just because they have different, completely different fall rates, um, you know, it depends on the situation of which one I'm using in, in which. I'll both with 5 16 ounce weights on them. So I've slowed it up, lightened it up as much as I possibly can. Uh, to be able to do that so there we go i'll talk to you tomorrow hopefully saying hey 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 it worked see ya
take a minute and go over days three and four uh, for the missile vlog you know like fork for like fork day uh, just kind of a total recap days one and two days one was my biggest weight day 25 15 um, had the opportunity to get up there around 27 28 lost one fish that did it but caught it the next day it was on the bed however day two um, day two went just steady I, I never was on a pattern that uh, or getting enough bites where it was just on fire and I never lit it up in the morning it was just kind of an all-day thing uh, you know a, a, as as you'll see um, most of my most of my presentation was pitching flipping um, the missile baits D bomb and then a tube and um, 5 16 ounce weight total setup uh, 7 4 heavy uh, custom pro lose with a Hyper Mag 8.3 reel, 20 pound gamma edge fluorocarbon line, and um, 5 16 ounce weight. Uh, I was using a new hybrid hook, a 5 aught Gamagatsu. Uh, it's uh, that cross between an O'Shaughnessy and an EWG, Mike McClelland uh, developed it, and it was pretty good. I, I, uh, I, I'm gonna experiment with that a little bit, but all in all, you know, I was pretty, uh, I was pretty pleased with the way that it performed. We had some issues along the way, but I mean, I, I shot in that, I, I, I stayed in that 95 percentile range for, range for the D-bomb and the tube, and I feel like that's pretty good. And um, so, you know, like I said, I targeted a lot of different things, but mainly those dead willow bushes. And I was um, up, um, I was in the glade, and mainly is where I was. I had a couple places up there where I fished up Caney Creek, pre and post going. Uh, coming and going on me. I'm sure I caught some fry garters. I just uh, didn't see them whenever all that was going down. So uh, day three, I struggled bad. I didn't get very many bites. I lost a couple of them on that day that uh, dropped that percentage down a little bit as you as you probably will see. And it was just one of those things, you know, it was just uh, some weird things were happening. I wasn't getting very many bites. So um, it took all day and on day three I knew I had like 14 pounds is where I was at and I knew that I was close to the top 10 but I didn't know how close 
and at two o'clock they shut live off. I had a camera with me all three days, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and they shut the camera and live off. And sure enough, like it, they shut it off at two o'clock and like at 2.05, I, I get back in the juice and I tried something just a little bit different. I went to a couple of standing trees thinking, man, these wolves, I beat these wolves to death as well as the locals have. And uh, on day one, a local caught an 11-8 right in front of me. And I, you know, when that happened, I knew him and his buddies were going to be back. And sure enough, they, they were uh, every day. But that's okay. You know, that's public lake fishing. And that's the way that you got to deal with pressure. But I changed up. Not too many people were fishing the standing trees. So I slid out just a little bit farther. Now, it wasn't much deeper, maybe a foot deeper. So I, I fished anywhere from doing a foot and a half and three and a half to four foot deep was as deep as I got. And uh, sure enough, the first pitch basically was a 7-6. And of course, at that point, then that pushed me into the top 10, but I didn't know where. I thought it probably did. And then about two minutes later, I catch a four and a half. So all that being said, it, it was a last minute flurry. I had to start getting out of there at like with 25 minutes left. So it, literally I, I had just minutes left to fish, but I just stayed bared down and it all it all went good. On the fourth day, same thing, slow start in the morning, didn't go well, lost one fish um, that was a decent one, I could tell, and it was my fault. Um, I was late to the I was late to the table and and uh, I got a bad hook set on him. He was around a bush on me and it just didn't go down. That was not his that was not anything equipment was fault. That was Chad's fault. I couldn't see the sun actually got in the perfect spot. I couldn't feel the bites, my line was swimming off. And I couldn't see it. I, the sun had me literally blinded um, just for a brief second. So, um, again, we struggled till 1030 and I didn't have one. I went sight fishing and I didn't go far because I knew I wanted to come back there in the afternoon. And uh, so I caught five sight fishing and uh, I had one pair that worked with me really well. If it hadn't been for them, I probably wouldn't even have finished eighth. Uh, but then I went back to the juice and I did catch a switched up just a little bit because I felt like uh, I just wasn't getting any bites out of the willow trees. Like they'd all been depleted. It, whatever was happening, it was over. And uh, I picked up a swim jig, caught a four and a half pounder in dark, shallow water, and I kept that up and I caught another one. So with all that being said, I hope you enjoy everything. And that's how my Lake Fork tournament went. Finished eighth with 83 pounds and change for a total four day weight. Happy with it. On to the next one.